gonna uh, do a little rundown on the best Integra you can buy, the best spec you can buy. If you are in a state that has emissions laws and stuff, that they test your emissions, and um, you know, obviously you're gonna be uh, going under the table with emissions anyways, but what's the best one to get? What's the best spec? There's uh, the RS, LS, GS, GSR, and Type R. You guys might be, might be thinking, uh, just go with the Type R, modify the hell out of it, and be happy. But um, there's cheaper alternatives, and there's actually advantages and disadvantages of the Type R, especially like in uh, California. All right, so the RS is basically the base model. It comes with nothing. It's a DC4 basic LS engine. Um, if you were to put a B18C or a C5, the Type R engine, inside of that and drive around in California and get pulled over, it's a hefty fine. They might pull the car. They're going to seize it. Same thing for uh, all the DC4s, which is the LS and GS. Uh, the, the GSR is basically uh, the DC2. It come, It's a VTEC chassis, so you can put the Type R in to the GSR, and they probably wouldn't even know if you rig it pretty nice because it's a DC2. VTEC chassis um, but uh, if you are to uh, if you are to tune the car have it tuned you're gonna have to backdate it to OBD1 so basically if you have a 96 and up you're gonna have to backdate it to OBD1 which means your D port where your uh, emissions tester is gonna test it uh, that's gonna be deleted so you're gonna have to update it get it smog then backdate it to tune it and that'll be a big old hassle you wouldn't want to do that and then you might be saying well why not just get a type R and be done with it well uh, if you type R's came out in 1997 in the US there was no 96 and below spec in the US in other parts of the world there are type R's previously from 97 but uh, the 97 Type R is still an OBD2 car with the D port. And if you were to backdate that, you'll still have to uh, pass emissions and all that stuff. So, so basically what I'm getting at is uh, the Type R is cool, but if you want to go through all that hassle of backdating and then updating back and, and putting the stock ECU back in, that's up to you. Uh, so the, the, the Type R for me is automatically out. Um, the, the DC4s are automatically out. Now you have the GSR. Now you have the GSR, um, which is a VTEC car. It's four lug. It looks like an LS basically. And um, you can easily just uh, put a nice ass motor in it. And, um, and do the, you know, tune it. But in uh, 1996, like we all know, they changed it to uh, OBD2. So you'll still have to backdate and update it. So in my opinion, the best Integra you can possibly buy is a 94, 95 OBD1 Acura Integra GSR DC2 because it's a VTEC chassis and it's OBD1 and it comes in the DC platform. Um, you can go with the DB1, no, the DB2, which is the, uh, the second gen GSR, but those are very sought after and um, if you were to find one of those, it'll be best just to, uh, just to restore it, you know, because they're so rare. But uh, yeah, so the 94, 95 Acura Integra GSR, the OBD1 model with the VTEC chassis, in my opinion is kind of like the holy grail if you want to have the car tuned modified heavily modified tuned and still be obd1 and um, just go to any place and it's gonna fail you're gonna have to go under the table but they're not gonna have any d port to plug into if that's what if that makes any sense but yeah so i'm gonna cut the video right there and um yeah, this is a little bit different format. If you like this type of format where I'm just talking and driving and stuff, I don't know. But yeah, so I'll see you in the next one.